Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk. Today we're going to make a cookie and take bites out of it, but right now we're going to make the cookie. So, this is one way to do it. There are many, many ways. I'm going to make it where it is nice and works very well if you need to take a bite out of it. So, let's start with a box, just a general box. Bring it up a bit, and if it's not a nice cookie color, in this case it is, I got lucky. So, let's choose some kind of nice cookie color here. I like the F4 to F3s, F4s to see the lines in between it so I know what I'm doing. I want to keep the length and the width fairly much the same. So I'll just go with 50 each just to make sure it's about even. There are ways to mess with that and to play with that. That's fun. Height, bow, low, bow cookie height. A little bit higher. That's fun. Great. So I'm ready to make a cookie. Now I have to do a few things. First of all, this is a square so it doesn't look very appetizing. Change it out. And we'll go down to a mesh smooth. If I take a mesh smooth, which smooths it out automatically, I get something like this. I'll bring it up to about two iterations, which means every polygon divides by four for each mesh smooth. So every polygon divides into 16. I'll collapse all, and we can see the results of this. Yes, continue. And you can see the divisions on that. So yeah, each polygon now has 16. So that's what I'm after. That's your basic cookie type of shape. A few things I can do here. It's a perfectly round cookie. Let's mess with it. So perfectly round cookies are not your common thing. So I'll go in here, hit the G, and mess with the sides first. Main problem with this, and I'll make it visible with just this screen. I'll zoom in and out here, about like so. I'll open it up, I'll grab the vertices. The vertex is the points. This is going to be the bottom where it hits the cookie sheet. Obviously it's going to be flat, so I'll pull that down. Pretty well, literally pretty well flat. I'll pull this up. So it looks like it's been baking on the oven. Pick up the cookie. There it is. Nice cookie. Um, I don't know. I want to take the whole thing down. Let's get out of the vertices. Go to the editable polys. I want to take the whole thing down from the top. So you're getting everything. Squeeze it down a little bit. That's about right. I think my cookie should look a bit like that. So we're good. This is all nice and smooth on the bottom. This is a pretty decent cookie shape. Check it. Hey, G for the grid. Yep. It looks pretty solid. Happy with it. Okay. Back to my main cookie. This looks great. A few things with it. Let's go up in here. A few things with it. It's pretty much perfect. It looks a little bit odd because it's totally pretty much round. If it's not round, you're seeing it on a monitor or I recorded it where it's a little bit scaled differently, but it should be pretty much round. Let's grab this cookie here. And I can do a few things. I can grab some polygons, move them around, but I'm going to do it a cheat way, and that's a freeform deformer. I could take it into some other program, but I'll use a freeform deformer. This is nice. When I open it up, I can grab the control points. So I'm going to grab all oh, these four, and I'm going to move them. I don't really need to scale them. I'm going to move them. I can move them around and make my cookie not quite perfect. So I'm making the cookie, but it's not going to be quite exactly perfect. It's not going to be perfectly round. Just a little bit of change here and there, and it make the cookie look much more real, much more appetizing, much more cookie-like. Yeah. So there we go. I have something that looks a little bit better. I can do it from the sides too. Let's do that. And maybe grab some of these sections. In other words, these parts right through here. Bring that up a little bit so it's a little bit higher here. Uh, so your cookie is not as totally completely predictable. I'll grab this and I'll just do a collapse all. I want to get rid of it now. Good. Yes. Fine. So I've collapsed. Let's take a look from perspective. I'll do the full F3s, F4s. Just an F3 here. Take a look at the cookie and it's not totally, totally predictable anymore, which is good on top of this collapsed editable poly. I will do one more mesh smooth, but I'll leave that mesh smooth alone. I'm not going to mess with it. Boom. Ah, I just messed up. I'll show you why in editable poly I still have the vertices selected in there. I don't want to do that. I want to grab all of it, go to the top of the stack, the polygon stack, and then apply your modifications. Now you can apply it to different sections, but that gets more complicated only when you really really know what you're doing should you do that. Right now I have a basic cookie. It looks pretty good. So for fun, let's render it. There we are, basic cookie. It's nice smooth, a little smoother here. I can bring it up to two iterations. I'm not going to do that right now. Every time you bring up the iterations, it brings up the complexity. Remember each one of these is multiplied by four. Every time you drop that in, a polygon is multiplied by four. So what do I need to do? Well, oh, I just missed this up, didn't I? You can always reset this. Click and go into this is from the left view, I believe. Great. Whenever you see the grid, you know it's straight on. Hit G to get rid of the grid and bring it back. Alright. So I have the cookie, and that's how to make a basic, basic kind of cookie. 
I need to texture this at some point. I'm not going to get into the full textures, but I will get you ready for the texturing. And you can do this before the mesh smooth. It's just fine afterwards, too. I'll drop in a UVW map. That's going to be where the texture applies. And in this case, it's going to be a little bit strange. It's going to drop it in as a plane because it has no idea what we've made. It doesn't know the shape. So we drop it in, and we're going to make this into a spherical plane. We'll just make the texture apply like a projector, just straight from the roof falling down on a boom, which means the sides are not going to look right, and when we take a bite out of our cookie, it's not going to look right. Can you get away with planar mapping if you're just going to do this? Yes. Can you get away with planar mapping if you're going to take a bite out of the cookie and animate it? No. So it depends how much work you can do. Another note of that is, if you're doing very simple cookie, no extra work, not taking a bite, you can go ahead and use a sphere and squish it down. That's fine. But I want these nice square polygons. It tends to work better with the operations we're going to do to take a bite out of the cookie later. In other words, we're putting in a little bit of extra work to begin with so that we can animate this cookie smoothly. So, I'll do a spherical UVW map. It suddenly pop pops it in. Let's go over here. It suddenly pops it in like this. You see those orange defining areas? Well, that's the map, of course. We need to change that. We're set for spherical, which is great. Length, width, and height. Well, let's adjust those. So I'll go into the length, and I'll kind of pull it out a bit. I'll actually go to my four view now, because I'm going to be working this way. And I'll pull it out, and we'll see how it adjusts. Let's go over here. Pull it out. Oh, that's from this side. I can hit a Z to see the whole thing. A G to get rid of that annoying grid. Sometimes it's annoying. Bring this out about like so. That's fine. Bring this out on the other side. You can see it about like so. So now I have this set perfectly. The height is what we need to mess with now. Bring that down about round to there. Now, if I try to move this thing, and I'll undo this in a second, if I try to move this thing, the whole cooking moves, so Control z To get into the fine-tuning there, I can go into the gizmo. That's going to move just that thing. Now, I want it moved down a bit, so it covers the top of the cookie. Let's take a look here. Here's why I'm doing this. This covers the top of the cookie pretty much perfectly. Bottom of the cookie, I really don't care about. It's going to drop it on. That's fine you're rarely going to see the bottom of the cookie. But as it applies and is projected on the sides, that's going to work perfectly well if you take a bite out of the cookie. This is a very, very, very good basic cookie shape at the top of the map. I can even bring the gizmo back down. That's it. Don't collapse it, because you've got the UVW, the mesh smooth, and so forth. This, right now, is a very good cookie. We can take bites out of it. Let's go ahead and just deselect it. Get rid of that F3, F4. So all I have is a very basic cookie. I can drop a texture on it to make it look far, far more appetizing. But there we are. For a basic cookie shape, you are now set. Okay, that's it for making a very, very basic, but hopefully editable cookie if you want to get rid of those little sharp edges. Bring the mesh smooth up by one, and that is it. Have fun with it.